Hello to everyone, guys. So, in part one video of blanket order, I have just explained it to you that how we can create a blanket order. So, we can go and purchase app, which already I have told in part one video, and how we can create. If we click on orders, we can see blanket orders there, and then we can create blanket orders here. So, again, I recap it when I create a blanket order. In here, we just choose product and we choose any quantity and we just submit any schedule date with unit price. It's up to us. We choose another product quantity, which I say three. Schedule date is not 15, we said 29th, and unit price is two. Okay, we just save this, confirm it, and when we create, so at the moment, see different schedule dates here. So these dates are not the same there. If we create new quotation, if we see the, f it's just taking the f the today's one, today's one, 25th, 25th. So what we want in this customization that I want the same, the first one will come in first line, second one will come in second line with the same product. We don't want today's schedule date. We just want our schedule date, which we, we are customizing that this exact schedule date should come. Okay, let's start. Uh, customization I'm using again let me just recap Odoo 6 Odoo 17 and I'm using Visual Studio Code as ever so at the moment I have just got this custom folder which is my custom add-ons folder and if I show you in my configuration file so in configuration file I have just given this uh, custom add-ons folder path which you also need to give so in my custom add-on if I show you uh, custom folder which is called customization and in that I have just got this folder customization which we will use today it's empty at the moment if you say I have just added this blanket order only the new file which is just empty there is nothing inside it so let's start with this so first of all if I show you the blanket order so first of all in blanket order if you see that these are the purchase requisition line this is the model which we need to inherit so if you can see here i have a highlight this purchase dot requisition dot line this is the model which we need to inherit and now i will not waste your time that already um already in my uh, uh already in my uh code in my visual studio code i have already figured it out that model so if i go in purchase underscore requisition dot by so this is a file which which is in purchase underscore requisition uh, module which is in odoo original code and in that if you see that this is the function which we need to inherit which is called prepare purchase order line and this is in this function is in purchase requisition line as i said this model we we are going to inherit so if we go in purchase order line so here in this function we are going to inherit this is the basic um, method which is actually um, which is actually preparing the values so let me just write the code So if I go in here, the new file, and we just paste the basic. So this is just as you know from daytime import daytime. So I'm just importing this uh, from Odoo. I'm this is just the normal syntax from Odoo import fields when we are creating a, another class or we are inheriting or new class we are doing. So let's start with purchase requisition line and its models dot model okay this is the basic classic now so what we are going to do we are inheriting and we are inheriting purchase dot requisition 
line. Right, guys? And in this one, we are going to inherit this function, which is this function. So we just copy this first line here. So which is prepare purchase order line self name. These are the uh, uh, assignment uh, product underscore QTY uh, price unit is zero. Taxes ID is false, right? Okay, so we just start this one. We just let me just write the syntax and then I will I will um, explain it to you what I have done and what it, why we are doing that. So first we are doing a super So name and price unit also will be price unit and taxes ID also. Right. Okay. And after that, what I'm going to do, I will result, which is the variable here. I will explain, don't worry. So what is date planned? So if we go in, sorry. So if we go in the blanket order, so let's just show you the technical fields. So this is a schedule date which we want to carry over there in, um, in purchase order line. So if I click new quotation, so here if you see expected arrival, that date is date underscore plant. That's why we just want to give this, that this is what we want. So this date is equal to I will explain it to you what we, I have done. Schedule date. Okay, if self dot else. We say that if we are not going to give any date or if there is not any date setting up, then today's date. Okay. And Right, so this is function. Okay, one more thing I want to do that because there is not a proper um, a relationship in between. There is a relation, but well, to make it make the things more easier, let me just create another relation, a many to one relation in with purchase line ID. So let me just paste this one and we say class name is. purchase order okay and here purchase order line so what we are going to do we just are going to create a new field which is which we say recusation line id and we say fields dot many to one sorry <clears throat> And relationship, many to one relation, we are going to make with purchase order order line. And we just give any string here. Uh, we say purchase agreement line. Right. Okay. So.
So, and here in this function also, we also pass results, dictionary of result. We can set, just say, um, requisition line ID self dot ID. Okay, guys. So, uh, let me just explain it to you with first this class, purchase requisition line. So this class inherits from purchase.requisition.line, which is a model for handling lines in a purchase requisition blanket order. And the method prepare purchase order line, which I have already shown in the um, Odoo module, this method prepares the data needed to create a new purchase order line. Based on the current purchase requisition line, the customization ensures that the generated purchase order line carries over specific attributes from the requisition line, particularly the date planned and the link back to the requisition line itself, requisition line ID, which we have just created many to one relationship. And uh, first, this one I want to explain this self dot ensure one. This ensures that the met method is called on a single record. Odoo uses this as a safeguard to prevent batch operations where the method is expected to operate on individual records. Then the second, the this line, the super one, I have explained many times in my uh, lots of videos that whenever we are using a function, so already the functionalities in this function, we are already using everything in that function. But after that, we are also adding some extra thing, which is after this line. Uh, so in the next line date time dot combine so what it's doing basically it's um and then in bracket self dot schedule date if schedule date else date time dot no so basically it sets the date planned attribute this line checks if there is already self dot schedule date the schedule date on the requisition line is set if it is it uses the date otherwise it defaults to the current date it combines this date with time.min to set the time to the earliest possible time of the day, ensuring consist consistency in how the planned date is recorded. And then the next one, which I have just added this one, um, this basically adds the ID of the current requisition line to the result dictionary under the key requisition line ID. And this establishes a direct link from the purchase order line back to the originating. So this is it. Uh, there is one more thing uh, we need to do. So basically, let me just show you. So here, if you see that once we are creating from blanket order, once we are creating a new quotation from here, so it's setting up, Odoo is setting up all this, these is automatically. So what are going to do, we are depending on this field and then we need to create uh, on change function that once these dates have been set up by Odoo flow, we want to change them into different um, uh, different date what we want. So I have already written that function and I don't want to waste that um, waste your time. So let me just copy and paste it and then I will explain it to you what I have done. So if I go in here, so on the same file, I'm just going to create another class, but for your convenience, if you want to create another file, which is called like purchase order, because we are going to inherit it in purchase order, so you can do that. But in I'm just doing it the same class for the saving time and your convenience as well. So what I have done, I have, I'm just going to inherit purchase order here. And I have just written this function what this function is doing. So basically, as I told you that I have, I'm going to apply a method on date planned field and that is on change method. Uh, this method is triggered whenever there is a change in the date planned field of the purchase order. Its goal is to update the date planned field for all relevant non-display type purchase order lines, ensuring their planned dates align with either the purchase order's planned date or the scheduled date from the related purchase requisition lines. So. First, what I'm going to do, I'm just checking if self dot date planned. I'm just checking that if um, it has a value, this checks ensures that the method only proceed if there's specific plan date to work with. In my next line, if uh, it's checking self dot requisition line, it's just mean that it's related to the requisition line. It's not just um, 
we are creating now a purchase order so it's it will just check that and then update line link to the requisition if there is a link to requisition then the method i trades over each purchase order line that is not a display type lambda line not line dot display type that will ensure display types are typically used for informational or organizational purposes and do not represent actual order lines for each applicable line it updates the date plan field and the new date is determined by checking if lines corresponding requisition line has a scheduled date and then it, it will just update that and then um, else update lines without a linked requisition if there is not a linked requisition the method sets the plan date for all node display type order lines to match the purchase orders date planned this is done through a filtered iteration over self dot order line so this is what this function is doing i hope i have just explained you in detail so what we can do we can just save it and then i just restart it and then also upgrade my module which is customization sorry let me just look at this okay guys i just forgot to just mention that in our manifest file we need to give this uh, purchase because we are depending on um, purchase purchase module we are also depending on purchase underscore requisition as well Okay, let's restart it again. There is one per because we are inheriting purchase order line and also inheriting purchase requisition dot line. So after that, let's upgrade my module, which is customization, this one. So let's upgrade this. Okay, purchase requisition. I have given this module. Uh, yes. And let's. Yeah, blanket order I have already initialized. Guys, let's upgrade again. What I have done, I have just added purchase requisition at first and then base and then purchase. Even if we don't add base, that's fine. But because the first we were inheriting the purchase requisition, so that's why. So it has been upgraded. Okay, what we're going to do, we go to purchase and then go in blanket orders let's create a new order we give supplier any value product here any product quantity to schedule date i'm going to i'm game going to give schedule date this month and unit price anything next product five schedule date i give next month so march so first one is february then march and then the third one i want to give april okay so let's save this confirm it and please um remember it's february march and april in three different different products we click on new quotation so if you see the first one is February, March and April. Voila. Wow. This is, uh, it looks so smooth, but well, it required some research and I hope you will like the solution and that will resolve many, many issues, many uh, scenarios for you guys. So yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe it, share it and also give some comments as well. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. Ta-da.